Hello there, this is Ingus from IJS Electronics and uh, today we're going to be looking at a uh, new drive uh, that I have and uh, this one is manufactured by Alan Bradley, uh, one of the world leading uh, manufacturers in industrial electronics and uh, this is one of their drives that come part of the group PowerFlex and this one is called PowerFlex 4. This drive is uh, again, as I always have, is a single to three phase. But also the, all the all all the things that you're going to be looking at will be obviously going to all the PowerFlex for family. So we are going to first today we're going to be looking at a um, the basic uh, setup and uh, running the drive from uh, so from the front keypad and. Uh, we're looking into the reset into factory settings in case you have bought the drive uh, used and uh, basic, some basic wiring just uh, that goes in and uh, so you go through some uh, parameter groups and go talk through this, uh, what the parameters what they are and how are they set up so the first things first let's have a look at the wiring part there's your front terminal inputs which we're not going to be talking about today at all and if I could take this one out so single phase in it's your uh, source pretty much single phase wires in and then, and then the wires go off to the motor from there on this is a 0 0.2 kilowatt drive which will be uh, linked below uh, we, uh, I think I have quite a few of them and uh, uh, let's crack on with the basically just starting up and see see what it does. All right, here we go. That's uh, that's pretty much just starting up the drive, and as you can see, there's two little lights down here. One, uh, this one is uh, lit in there, and this one is not lit in there. That tells me that the drive's been operated into a. Um, uh, not operated from the front keypad so that when I click the start button nothing will be happening drive will not start so as you can see down there a little quickly show you the terminals uh, which are terminals are uh, 0 1 and 0 11 for the manual Bradley says that if you let me just zoom it back out quickly here we go so if you look down there Bradley says you must have 0 1 and 0 11 linked uh, otherwise if you don't do that and, uh, and you want to use it in a basic way just run some system where you got down there the drive will not work it will probably not going to even show you any errors and things like that so you won't be able to start so always make sure that that link is there usually when a drive is supplied from a manufacturer that link is already there but if you buy uh, used a lot of people will remove you spend especially in automated industries will remove that link because they'll use that as some sort of a isolation or emergency thing for the drive not to, not to let the drive run so that's that so always make sure if you have this drive to make sure that little link is in there and uh, let me just uh, reposition my camera and let's crack on with a factory reset. Okay, the first things first, we're going to look at how the parameters has been uh, grouped in uh, this Bradley drive. So, by pressing select or enter, both of them will enter you into the, 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 the programming mode and things like that. The, the first group of the um, uh, parameters, don't know really, parameters is classed as a, a display group so in this group you, you pretty much you, you are able to see what is going on in the drive basically it's only for display to see the amps the volts and all other bits heard the frequencies and things like that that's the display group the second group is a basic parameter group starts from 31 goes all the way I believe to 50 uh, no not 51 so we select and then uh, goes to 43 so all the basic parameters is in uh, this uh, group oh uh, yeah and just to to go between the groups is, is, is usually make sure that the first digit is flashing and then up and down and then you go in the a group with our advanced uh, parameter settings in there so uh you can you're more than welcome to enter them there's a lot more extras to do we're going to do that later on we're going to be going to be setting up a, a three-speed system down there 
but that's pretty much pretty much at the groups so uh that's how you go between them once you once you know what group you want to be in you press select and then you can go between the numbers of uh whichever you want to enter we're going to go through all these parameters quickly so uh we talk them through what they do and uh why they matter Okay, before we start uh, going through the parameters, uh, let's quickly reset the drive. Uh, if you have bought the drive uh, used, in many cases people do buy them used because they're pretty good drives and they last forever pretty much, if they are looked after well, obviously. Uh, it's a parameter 41, you enter it, uh, select oop, 1, enter and as you can see it jumps up with the f048 and just press i think stop and uh, as you can see the lights now popped up on uh, on 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 here and uh it tells you pretty much uh, the drive now is reset so uh, let's go again if you go into select enter enter one enter and stop so that way drives completely reset so uh, what is the, the, these two lights down here it tells you pretty much where the drive is controlled from so the moment if the lights are lit it tells you the drive is controlled from uh, potentiometer and the start so we can actually cl click the start now and the uh, drive will start up so but before we go to that we need to go and set up our, our basic things in, into the drive so we pretty much tell the drive what we're doing how we're doing what motor it is and voltages and things like that so uh, to do that, let's go to parameters. Let's start from the group uh, basic parameters, which is a P. Enter that group and let's go back to uh, the first parameter on a group is uh, 31, which is a rated volts. We just set what our, our motor is, which is 230 in my case. And I'm not sure where you are doing that, but in our case, we are running a single phase, which is 230 volts. Let's keep that. Next one. Oop. Next one is our uh, frequency, which is uh, 15 UK. And enter that one. And uh, we've done that one. And obviously to uh, change them, just enter. This is our uh, rated amps. And uh, as uh, my drive, my motor is a little bit higher than uh, uh, this uh, drive it is because I'm not using this drive for, for running uh, loads or anything like that just for demonstration purposes so I'm not going to be entering a uh, 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 amps in there so uh, usually you would enter your amp this is works as a very nice overload it's got a very good overload system inside the uh, motor and, uh, and the full drive so use that as your overload to protect your motor in case of the overload and overloading the motor or anything else will happen to it it will protect it so let's escape that one then the next one will be our minimum frequency so minimum frequency you can set in here if you on the start if you don't want to drive to start from bottom frequency uh, you can tell him but right the minimum frequency I want you to always be no matter what is let's say 1020 and things like that so you can set that in our case we're gonna keep it at zero because it's for demonstration purposes so we are our start position from the frequency will be zero uh, let's get it out and then we're gonna actually at the same time we can set as well how high we want the frequency to go in our case we're gonna want that to go to 50 you can go higher Obviously, with the with the frequency uh, above the uh, motor rated uh, plate, but there is complications that can happen, which I think I mentioned in one of the videos before. Uh, if you do go about, you can, but there's uh, there's uh, some of the sacrifices uh, that, that, that has to come in, and some of the, the things you need to look out for, it's like cooling the motor. The main thing is cooling, and manufacturer always says you can go roughly about 25% of it, but to make sure that uh, cooling is sufficient, and uh, obviously some of the internal components like barracks and things like that might not be rated at those speeds. Again, check with your manufacturer what can you do but generally the ones i contacted they all said no oh, we are okay with you to go roughly about uh, 10 to 15 percent above rated but uh, they do not uh, uh, sort of say that everything's going to be all right they don't guarantee everything's going to be all right because that depends the drive will be fine but they don't 
they don't say anything about what the motor will be, it's depending on again what the manufacturer is and things like that. But that's that, so let's escape that one. And uh, the next one in our group is start source. So this is where we select where we want things to start from. In our case, we want a photopentane geometer, and uh, the basic should be zero. So, the, so, so the, not the basic, the default is zero. So, default is pretty much if you actually quickly change it, now you will see if I do that. My start button, little light down there, disappeared. Now says uh, now now the system will be uh, using a thing called a three wire setup, which again will be controlled from down here. Which we're going to get into the next video. We're going to try them all. Uh, oh, we don't want to do that. We're going to because we are only uh, see the light come back on. So uh, uh, next one uh, will be. I just quickly flip the page. It's a uh, start mode. You can actually select how you want the drive to stop. It's a ramp or, or, or coast or DC brake or DC uh, brake auto, and there's all other extra options. We'll look at it in some of them in the next video, and so I'll show you. Usually, people just use two of them, and then then I'll I'll, I'll get through them as we as we trial trial it in the next time so at the moment we're going to leave it at default and the default in our case is ramp stop so uh i'll show you later on and actually i'm going to show you what the ramp does and what the coach does on the actual motor how it works so uh both of them have advantages and disadvantages depending on your application obviously and the next one is going to be our uh, frequency source we're going to tell the drive where to control our potentiometer or what they call the speed reference so if you select our should be zero and we should say yeah we should say we are driving a from the uh, motor uh two, sorry from the, from the front keypad so as you can see the light is lit but again if you change it it's still that one second again and uh, which there's to still from the front. Hmm. Escape and uh, interesting. It doesn't remove the light. Okay, so uh, that's something I've learned today. So uh, obviously it doesn't change the light, and I'm no, no, not sure we're gonna test it in the next uh, next uh, video. Uh, is the actual uh, potential the front still usable? So let's just change that back to zero. So there's obviously three, there, there's five, so five different commands. Uh, frequency commands is uh, one from the front keypad. The next one is the extern exter internal frequency, which you can set in a parameter A69. Again, that we'll look at in some different video. Then there's a zero, put, a zero to 10 volts input from external. Then obviously you can go two to 20 milliamp input, which is the current way. And uh, then you can go for preset frequency again for that. And then you can go from a compor, which you do with the, with the networks and things like that. Uh, the next one is our P39. Let's just give that. Oh, P39, which is our acceleration time. Acceleration, the acceleration, as talked about in different videos as well, is, is how fast the motor starts up and how fast the motor slows down, pretty much. I'll change that for... So I don't like the motor, I go 10 seconds is, is maximum, mostly, so most of the older drives actually are going to be the same. I haven't seen any drive that will go beyond 10 seconds. I'll change my start, roughly one second will do. And... Uh, Next one, the 41, obviously it's going to be a deacceleration. Uh, and again, how, how fast the motor stops. So we're going to change that to pretty much nothing. I'm not really keen. Ooh. Well, that was a weird number. So I sent to that one one second as well, and uh, 41 we already know is a factory reset. And last but not least, and I forgot what that is. Last but not least, we are. It's that's about it. Eight actually. Oh, uh, I 
I don't know what that thing does, so uh, we'll stay away from it. So I'm probably gonna try it in some other videos what that actually says, some sort of uh, disables motor overload retention function. I need to look into that, what that is. So other than that, so now we are pretty much going through the basic parameters. And also in a group A, you got a lot more extras you can do. We are gonna be playing with some of those a bit later on. And uh, uh, what they do, we're not, we're not gonna go too much through them because that was just gonna make the video way too long. And uh, there's, a, there's all sorts of presets you can do into that and um, we're not gonna be playing with that. So if you run this drive just the way it is now, the one we, 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 we sort of set it, so, uh, set it up. So that's the pretty much the basic way to get you get you pretty much running. So uh, at the moment, if you just click the start button, let me just reset my. So, oop. let me reposition the camera, and I'll be right back. So uh, let's quickly uh, test test how things are working. So to start the drive, just click the start. And pretty much that's it from there, and then you can you, you can change your uh, potential uh, speed references from here. To stop it is this way. It says it's very basic, just self-explanatory from the board. And actually, you can uh, and then you can flip uh, using this button. You can flip in between uh, which way the drive will be running. Uh, so you can go one way, and you can click, and it goes stops, and it goes the other way. And that is very basic to operate the drive from the front keypad uh, with all this, this this other stuff in here we already spoken uh, spoken in the last video why I'm using it why it should be used and things like that but obviously it's not necessary for you to use but it'll be advantage if you do because for that system you can literally just keep adding uh, drives onto your system uh, changing the drives and you don't have to change too much about everything else so I like my little control system like that so it gives you gives you a bit of a better control and understanding what's got what is protection pretty much as well so uh, that is that will be it to cover up the cover the alan bradley in uh basic setup from the front keypad and that uh other than that in the next video we're going to look at it how to control the drive from the remote so we're going to uh, try a couple different connection setups and things like that. We run a little bit more extra into maybe jump into some of the advanced parameters. And uh, thank you for watching and I hope you liked it and uh, see you next video.